There are a ton of running shoe brands out there and they all make shoes in their own unique way, so I'm here to help you understand them. Let's do this. Today we're going to talk about ASICs. They're based in Japan and they make equipment for a wide variety of sports. However, today we're really just going to focus on their running shoes and they have made some major strides here in the last couple of years, making them one of the top running shoe companies in the world. Most of the midsoles in the ASICs running shoe lineup are made out of something called Flight Foam. There's four different levels. The only level missing from this list is Flight Foam Blast Plus. And essentially as you go up the scale, the foam gets more energized and a little bit softer, has a little bit more pop to it. Historically, ASIC shoes have had a lot of plastic with them, making them a little bit clunky and heavy. However, in recent years, ASIC has removed much of this plastic and streamlined the platform, making the shoes much more dynamic and fun to run in. Most of their midsoles have something called 3D space construction. These are geometric shapes printed inside the midsole itself that collapse in a strategic way to provide cushioning and support. They also love to use their gel cushioning technology in the heel and the forefoot. This has been around for a while and I think has become a little bit more obsolete. I do expect an update to this technology in future iterations. And last, most ASICs running shoes have a heel to toe drop of anywhere between 8 to 10 millimeters, which is pretty average. And I will say in the last couple years, ASICs has come out with some top tier super shoes, new fun and exciting options like the Super Blast and updated a lot of their historic legacy models, making them much more enjoyable.